<laughs> what is this place? The secret what place you, you two are taking us. It? Pinocchio <laughs> swap me or whatever? Well, it's kind of like Disneyland, but uh, for, for adults. adults. Oh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Pomona, dude. Sweet. Pomona swap me. It's been around. My dad used to take me there in the 70s. Yeah, oh, I'm shit. Sorry, I, I think the first Pomona swap me that I went to was like 1978. Anyway, there's a car show there, basically. You can bring your car to show it or sell it. And there's a big um, car corral. You just park your car in there and people walk by. If they like your yeah. shit, they buy it. Oh, cool. um, there's a parade. Early tomorrow morning, there'll be a parade. And it's fun, you just get a cup of coffee and sit there and watch these cool ass cars. There's shitloads of them. Well, so, so speaking of this, if it's Steve calls and I'm coming down here to do, buy some cores and stuff, pick up stuff, and he's like, well, hell, why don't you just come to Pomona with me? So me and Scott are here going to Pomona with, with Merlin and Steve. And he says, well, just bring your sleeping bag and a CPAP machine or whatever you need to sleep. <laughs> and, and so I'm like, all right, I'm throwing some stuff in the truck and I've got my air mattress and a couple blankets and pillows and I get here and I'm like, he's like, no, we're taking this. And so I don't know how it's all going to do for the four of us, but we're going for uh, an eight hour go. ride there and back. We're going to go to the, we're so we'll, you'll see what we're taking. Ass. <laughs> yeah. No, we're taking the swamp ass. <laughs> yeah. I got us a little treat saved up. It's going to, it's going to smell like swamp ass when we're <laughs> oh, done with it. Yeah. Four dudes in there. search of Merlin nothing absolutely nothing nothing that's when you find the best shit. my things find me oh something will speak to me I'll be like oh I gotta have that shell out the money if you come here looking for something you'll be disappointed because you won't ever find it you just gotta roll up if on you're it. looking for something you got to come to every swami religiously with your list and stay on it but if you just come to have fun you're gonna find all the stuff you need for all your projects and it'll be reasonably priced and good stuff. Or, nice. And if they don't have it, then it makes you change what you were thinking for something you it might. Takes you a different direction. Yeah, see, that's what I own. I look at it as an adventure. Hey Steve, you need to get a guitar. I can shake that.
Wow, that's a bit much for the swap meet. <laughs> <laughs> It there, but Watch your step, Dustin. Keep your hands and arms in the vehicle at all times. Here we go. Get in, Scott. No What's spitting, no throwing. What's the rest of the spill? You have Please to be this your... tall. Are you this tall? Please. Oh, yeah, we got to check the height. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that. How much do you weigh, sir? Yeah, I'm probably overweight on this one. Well, Scott will offset yeah, you. So we we're going to let you, we're gonna let you slide as long as you can get the safety bar on. Please attach a safety bar and prepare to depart. <sighs> so... So we got the VIP tour here. Uh, Deep and uh, Merlin with Welder Up, they are uh, got our own chariot here that we get escorted around the swap meet. Look, we can see it all. It's noisy enough that uh, we're gonna get all, all okay. the attention. Look at that trailer. So the striper for the uh, parking and lot here just said, he just shared with us that it took 29 miles of uh, painting equipment to paint the stripes that just do the parts. That doesn't include parking over here, uh, the car corral, or the VW section. So this is a big swap meet. So you got your walking shoes on? Yeah, exactly. No, we're good. we got the riding shoes on here. The riding shoes. I got my walking shoes on. Ready. Steve's in uniform. He's got them unlaced and everything. Box. It's gonna be 80, 90, or 100. That's more than a hundred years old. That's Henry Ford oh, it's got away in the front. stuff yeah, right cool. there. Oh look. So you can see this side of it. Yeah. Kind of too little. Everybody's rolling in. Their vendors are starting to set up, and all these uh, Johnny Come Latelys are uh, trying to come and buy cool stuff. So we got to get up and get ready to go. Here's the got an air mattress here. Show us what you slept on there, Marilyn. Oh, I slept on this two-dollar chair that we bought yesterday. Right. I mean, this is straight from the '70s, right? It was pretty comfy, actually. Is good. Dustin over here? Oh, he's snoring. Looks like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go buy some.
Pomona was pretty good for me. I've been looking for these hinges for a while and uh, I bought 11 of them for 80 bucks. Normally you pay about 80 bucks a piece, Model A door hinge. I also got this pretty cool little Model T coil. It's original Ford script. I'm sure it works. Pretty cool piece. I gave like five bucks for that. But this tailgate, that was the score. That was the score of the, uh, the swap meet for me. I, I need one for a truck I'm building. And they're normally around 300, 400 bucks if you can find them with the hinges. Got that for 150 bucks. So pretty jazz. It's a good swap meet all in all. We're uh, wrapping up the old Pomona swap meet here. We're getting ready to uh, load Freak Show up and get out of here. But let me show you some of the cool stuff I got. My, uh, my wife collects brass, so I, I buy this stuff here for so that she lets me come to these events, little bells. This is an actual cannon I found that supposedly you can prime it up and fire it. I don't know if I'll try that. Little drawer dress, desk thing for my daughter and her jewelry. And I found this little guy here. It was just a cutaway and I got it for 25 bucks. It's a cutaway, shows how the piston moves and the crankshaft and stuff. My son will make a lamp out of it or something. So that'll be kind of cool. And then I got these cool vintage trucks, toy trucks that I got for my mantle. And uh, yeah, I think I got the best deals right here. Here's my movie reel. Somebody gave him these headlights. We got movie reel. This is probably from, I don't know, probably the 50s. From this a drive-in movie. This, from a, this is from a drive-in movie actually. And the guy supposedly has the other one with film on it, so I'm gonna try to get down from him too. But I thought that looked cool, like decor in my freaking uh, TV room. Oh yeah. Yeah. You should have done. And that. um, yeah. So I got some got some of these lights. I mean, these would look kind of cool hanging in the house. This one's kind of burnt, but that's all right. It's kind of cool. And um, there's something else. I got some hook caps. I have this cool light. So you can basically use it as a spotlight. You hold the handle right here. This mounts on whatever you want and then it turns back and forth. It's kind of kind of bitching. Um I always love V8 Model A hubcaps. Because I have a lot of these wheels that go on to my uh, Model A's. Um Man, to be totally honest with you. I didn't do good. I didn't buy a lot of shit, but it doesn't matter. What I'm here for is my friends the camaraderie with our friends everybody here is super cool the first one of these i came to i think was in 78 or 79 with my dad um, he brought me here and like never forgot it like blew my mind at seven years old